Hey guys, Paul with Guns.com here. I'm coming back with what I originally planned to be a 500 round update. It turns out we're you know, past a thousand rounds uh, for this update, and that's for this Smith & Wesson Volunteer. Uh, we've been testing this for a while now, uh, quite a while. It's been a lot of fun. I will say thank you to Smith & Wesson for sending us one to test out. I'm not gonna go into the specs that was covered in the previous review and the previous article, but I am gonna talk a little bit more about my continued experience uh, with the gun and uh, just any updates that I think are worth noting. The iron sights that came with it, I decided to pop off the optic we were playing with, spend a little bit more time with those iron sights so that they could get some love on the range. They've been great. Uh, I got these zeroed in at 100 yards. We took it out, started shooting steel with it, started just playing around. Uh, they're solid irons. I know a lot of people like their Embus, uh, you know, Magpul uh, backups. Those are great. These ones are actually metal. Take that for what it is. Uh, but as far as functional, uh, sturdy irons that come with the gun, a lot of them, these flat tops, a lot of them don't come with anything. I appreciate the fact that Smith & Wesson included ones that were of quality and worked very well. The gun continues to be very flat shooting, in part thanks to this muzzle brake up here, but I'll get back to that. The gun has been 100% reliable still. Um, I know that's almost cliche, but yeah, at Wolf's you know, steel case ammo through M85 5 ball through, I mean, any ammo I can get my hands on that this gun can shoot. I, I put through it probably a good 15 different types of magazines from those steel, you know, GIs to this wonderful 60 rounder. And I actually busted that out for some barrier drills recently because this one is actually kind of notorious for causing malfunctions. And I was like, well, let's see if we can get the gun to malfunction. All 60 rounds, uh, barricade drills to include switching positions, uh, like awkward shooting positions. Uh, popped a bipod on the thing at one point and just uh, tried to rip through a mag uh, just for fun. I mean, the gun's been very reliable. Trigger has been very, very nice as well. Again, for kind of your, your base level, like what is like a good solid AR? This has been absolutely that. The only stone I can throw, and it's not a really good stone because it's also a benefit and a personal choice. Not all of these are gonna be pinned. This one's pinned just so that this is a 16 inch barrel, but well, 16 inches by the ATF standard, but you know, shorter in total length. There are different varying lengths from Smith & Wesson. Pick and choose as you please. But if you wanted something threaded, just don't get this one, get a different one. Uh, this muzzle brake is effective. Um, I will say that it helps keep it flat. It's really fun to shoot. I actually went from shooting an AK and then picked up one of these and started shooting again. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> ARs are just way smoother, but this one's more smooth than my my personal, a lot of my personal stuff. Um, I have one other one that probably shoots flatter, but also weighs like a pound and a half more, but it's loud. So that's the closest thing to a stone that I really have to throw at this uh, for what it is. These uh, grip scales, these Magpul grip scales that come with the gun uh, and this, uh, it's a M-Lock uh, conversion for Picatinny. That's what I was mounting my bipod on. I mean, super appreciated extra features to include the sights. The only stone so far has been, this is loud. So if I were to shoot this in a house with walls, you know, if I was doing some sort of like clearing drills or, you know, training like that, without ear pro, that could very well be painful. It's, it's gonna be loud, but that is also the device that's gonna make this a lot more fun to shoot and shoot fast. And with this trigger, it has been easy. It's not a Geisley trigger, you know, but it's, but it's very, it's much better than your stock. And the flat face has been a nice upgrade that I've enjoyed. Again, the, the across the board for your go-to kind of like out the box, this can get it done AR. Smith & Wesson included quite a few bells and whistles to include that trigger. And I, that's just appreciated. So like I said, thousand plus rounds at this point, probably take it out again to shoot tomorrow. And we haven't had any issues across any type of ammo, any type of magazine to include some cheap crummy 60 mags uh, that I've, I've pulled out. So anyways, that's uh, that's just my update at a thousand plus rounds for the Smith & Wesson Volunteer. I hope you enjoyed it. You can find these on the guns.com website. Uh, please like, share, subscribe if uh, you enjoy this video. Um, 
I would take the feedback that you leave down below as well to just update these things. That's one of the reasons we're coming back with an update is people have been asking like, can you give me a follow-up? Well, follow-up is this gun's still pretty sweet for, uh, for what it's coming in at for the price point. And uh, anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you next time.